Okay, so first of all, let's take a real quick look at the trial page here. You will probably, as a trialee, mostly look at what times you're expected to get rather than actually look at what you're being judged on more specifically. And as a healer, it is very, very important that you do not focus too much on your time, but more so on the way that you play your role. Obviously, time matters, and it always will. But if you're a good healer, you know that time isn't everything, and it also depends on RNG. Obviously, a good healer will always get a better time than a bad healer. But this time is mainly here to make sure that people who do not heal fast enough will not go to trial. Like that is the main purpose of this time here. Because the time does not matter too much. It is more so the way that you position yourself in the wave. It is the way you use your food, i.e. your codes, your spacing. Also says here it is using the vial and teammates on 8 to 9. It is really important that you remember to do this during your trial. But this isn't really what you will be mainly judged on. These three things is the main things. It is the way that you position yourself. It's the way you use your food and it's the way you restock. And the most important one is most definitely this one. It is the way that you can deal with a bad spread by maybe using your food in a different way. Don't always go off the codes that you have. If you have to change them up a little bit during the wave, you will be judged on that because you don't always get the perfect spread. And we want to see you also being able to deal with a bad spread or at least a worse spread than normal. So these are the main things. Don't focus too much on these times because they don't matter that much. Don't focus too much on this time. More so focus on the way that you heal. If you want a really good example of how to properly position yourself, how to properly prioritize the healers, etc., I will very much suggest that you watch this video from El Prodigy. It is a very good showcase of how you should position yourself during your healer run. One disclaimer though to this video is that the codes in here is generally not what you want to do for the trial. Sure, you can trial with regular codes, but honestly, I feel like if you can go into a trial and at least overstock on 6, 8, and 9, you will be much better off than just using regular codes. More so, than using the codes. You can look at the way he spaces, sure, but more so look at the way that he prioritizes the healers, the way he positions himself. Like when he runs up, he does a special thing, so he comes to this certain corner here to trap the healers, that sort of thing. That is really important as a healer that you do that kind of thing because that both minimizes your spread, it reduces the RNG aspect of the run. All right, let's get it. So we're doing vial round, which for the trial, you don't need to do vials for one and two. You have to do it on eight and nine, but since we're doing a leech, we're going to do it on one and two as well. So basically you just vial the dude here and you kill the healers as fast as possible. You want to end before 30, since the attacker can end at 30. Just make sure you vial him properly. There you go. Kind of messed up there. Died 31, but that's right. So you do this to get extra points for the leech. Doing it on wave 1 and 2 instead of wave 8 and 9 is just objectively better. Because you don't lose time if you do it properly. Also, you can heal for a lot more usually. You're sure you're going to heal him for 140 every time which you aren't if you do 8 and 9. So usually you do 1 and 2, but for the trial you need to do 8 and 9. So same thing here. Just kill everything. He's actually supposed to block the runner there. I guess he forgot. Just heal him. Here you want to end before 37 in case it's south. It's pretty easy. You don't need much there. All right, so wave three, we want to get a 24 spawn, obviously. So you want to do one six. And after, after you poison the sec or after you poison the third spawn, you have to go block the, the last runner. So it doesn't go west. So I did six there. That's going to die 42, so that's fine. 
But I place in this one. I'm just gonna place in it twice since I have two food. I'm gonna wait till it hits the timer there until it hits 30 seconds because then I don't drag the stack in case he wants to use his crystal halberd. It's a lot of fighter seized, so we're just gonna go west now. So the reason I waited on, on the east side there, like across this line over here, is so that in case he wants to crystal halberd here, if you go here right away, you're gonna like drag his whole stack, which kind of fucking sucks for him. So you want to go as far east as possible, but still finish at a decent time, obviously. So wave four, I'm gonna show you some positioning for the 30 spawn this wave. We're gonna do 252 as a code. It's gonna give you a 30 spawn and it's gonna give you um, 42 end. So that's five on that one. Same thing here, you wanna stay east so you don't drag his stack. If this was a 24 spawn, I would've gone and blocked it. It's gonna be 30, I think. Oh, maybe not. So there, I mean, if he didn't fuck up anyway, I would have trapped the healer by standing in the spot I did. That's a really important spot right there. Because this spot right here, if you wait a tick, if you stand here and right after it spawns, it wait, you wait a tick. If it's on the defender, you're going to get dragged and you're going to stand here to block it. And you can guess the food in the amount of time it takes you. So like, let's say you want to use either worms or meat but you don't know which one you just stand here and you're gonna drag it into the corner and you can just use one of each and you're sure you're gonna get it okay so here's a quick example of the kind of wave four i was talking about so in this wave i actually go at 24 seconds to block the runner however i do not suggest or i do not recommend that you block the runner in your actual trial run i only do this because i'm a fucking try hard but anyway uh, I still suggest that you do the kind of positioning and guessing that I do here at 30 seconds. So yeah, I go block the runner here. I go back, and this is the spot I'm talking about. So I wait a tick, I use the meat, and then I use the worms right after. And you see, whether or not that was meat or worms, it would have been a poison right on time. So wave 5 here, we're going to overstock. So overstocking is going for a 54 wave 5. It's two on the first one, instantly. Then you want to go here and put five on the second one. I go to this corner so you don't get a shit spread, because usually it can like go south or it can wander off if you don't go there. So two on that one, you need to remember the spacing. It's 21. There's no spacing on the first two. Spacing on this one is a little tricky. It's 30. So right there, if you see the double splat, you know you got it. And then there's going to be a 36 spawn here. Just use the rest on this one, just dump everything, and it's going to be 54. It's pretty simple, but the 30... And again, maybe you notice I stood here, just because if it went on the defender, I would have gone dragged with it, and I would have just trapped it, which makes it easier to poison for me. But basically, the hard part about that is the 30 poison. You got to get used to it. Usually, a poison, when the rune light timer says one second, because then you're pretty sure you're going to get it. So we're going to overstock again, because overstocking on 6 is the best method you can do. Not overstocking is fine as well, but I recommend overstocking for sure. So again, you just want to do 2 and 5, like you did on wave 5, but you have to re-poison this one. So we do 1 on this, and then we go re-poison it. We go back and put another one. And you just put 2 on the last one here. And you go back and restock. So I'm going to restock a little bit less than I usually do, just to show you how it's done. So usually, I want you to do one time, so I'm just going to do one time. Unless you're a more experienced healer, you can do a couple more. Usually I do two more there, but doing it once is fine. You're still going to get a decent time, plus you're sure that you're going to use up all your food, even if you get something like this, like a really shit spread. This healer can move instantly, which sucks. Especially if you stuck more. So usually it's, especially for your trial, it's best to stuck less just so you get a better time. Even though for the trial, time doesn't matter too much. It's more the way you play, the coach you use and the positioning, etc. right? So the time doesn't matter too much. If you get this kind of spread, don't be worried. Because they're going to take that into account when they judge you. Oh, so we're actually going to regular stuck here. 
I guess he forgot to call overstock, but I was going to regular stock anyway. Usually I do two times, but just doing regular stock on seven is super fine. You can get 81 with regular stock. You can probably get 78 even so. But you're going to aim for 84 in this wave. It's pretty achievable for most healers. And if not 84, you can get 87. So you do one there and you do four in the second one, right? So you just poison these and you want to get a 27 spacing on this one. So there I see, take the poison to 27 and I poison it. And then I need to actually re-poison shit. I can't click for shit. So let's see. Yeah, I poisoned it late there. You saw it take a three. So I'm going to put an extra one. Normally I would only put one on that. So I get the new spawn here. It's actually a pretty shit wave, but you can see how I can still make it up. Like it, it'll probably still be 84 seconds, even though I fucked up a lot there. So I poisoned the new one late because I misclicked the other one. And I had to put an extra one on it. So I'm going to destroy some of them there. I'm going to wait for the call. It's worms. Do something like that. That should be enough. Okay, so he's taking it south here, which is really nice because then I can poison it faster. Oh, but now they're going to all be stacked, which... Oh, never mind. Still stacked on inside the fighter though, which kind of sucks. So this might not be 84. Because I don't know which one I have to poison here. It's that one? Jesus fucking Christ. But yeah, you can see it's still 87 even with all that ace that was there. I fucked up a lot. Like it's really not hard to get an 84, 87 this wave. Just make sure you get your spawns out. So as I said, I saw it take a 3, so I chose to use an extra food on it. It's really important. So this way I'm going to Vile again. And I'm going to do a really fucking simple code for this one. Like I'm just going to do one on the first. I'm literally just going to dump the rest into the second one. You got to make sure you get the new spawns too. So I'm just going to dump the rest into this one. And that's basically it. Like that's the code. And then you just put one on each of them. So I'm going to stand here again to get dragged from the defender. If he goes there, if he's there in time, it's the same thing. So it's a 36 spawn since you put nine on it. And then it's literally just about repoisoning the rest. Since I'm going to go for the vial, I'm going to repoison kind of early here so I can go get it. And then when you come back, the only RP you have is actually this one. And then it's just literally spamming the last one, which spawns at 66. And you're not going to catch it because you're going to have to restock here. So there's no way that it's going to be on you, which is sick. Like it's guaranteed on the defender. And there's no way he's not going to get it even if he doesn't relure anything. So you're insured to get it here. You just spam it down. You see I only repoison one going here. And then it's literally just the last one. And if... If I wanted, I had the vial there, so I would would have just viled them. I would have stopped a little bit earlier, and then I had the vial ready and just viled them. So wave nine is kind of the same as eight, except you want to use another food on that one, so it's two eight one one. So I'm gonna put two more on this one. You see, I have two food left. So one for this one, and then one for this one over here. If I get it, let's see. Yeah, we good. So this is kind of a bad spread. So we're just going to repoison everything here. Especially when they take a three, you know you have to repoison them. I'm going to do it on this one as well. I'm going to put one here. So I'm going to... If this wouldn't have come back, I would have go like gone to poison it now because it's kind of important to get your spawn out otherwise it will be really late since i said i was gonna vial i'm gonna go grab the vial here i'm gonna be back a little late but it's okay i'll just stock a little bit less usually i do four times as in trially i would suggest you do one or two especially if you're late i'd only suggest you doing one i did two this time which i can get it off easily but if you're a new healer you should be careful to not do too much So here, I still have time to vial in between the calls. So I'm just going to do that now. There we go. And then we just finish it off. Make sure you don't have an RP somewhere. Like, 
that one you you got to make sure your rp is all dead because if you use all your food and you have an rp running wandering around somewhere you're going to get a really bad time especially on nine because the rp is always really big you want to save a couple of food just make sure you got all the rps so here's the same code as seven basically so you want to do one and four again and put one on this one then you go back to rp this one you want to rp it after the 21 splat healer poison splat there and then this one at 27 you see it poison there so just repoison it so here is after 33 so make sure you don't repoison it too fast that can happen sometimes then you got to use another food if you don't see the splat is after 33 on that one for the 48 spawn. So we'd put a couple in this one. I'm just gonna go here to block it. So by doing this, I make sure if this one goes on defender, I have it blocked and I can use my food fast. And then I just replace this one again. Wait, I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, so I'm gonna go click worms once. So it's meat. I'm just gonna grab two. And I should be plenty to get even 81 if you want. I see we don't have to repoison this time, which is fine. So you just, if your repoison is not here, just leave it at like decent amount of health, then go find your repoison. There you go. That's still 85, which is fine. And like if you get these times of trial, it's more to show you how to do it, what kind of times you want to aim for. These times are even better than what you need for trial. Honestly, as I said earlier, it's not really that much about the time of your trial. It's more like how you do it. So if you just do what I did, it doesn't have to be the same exactly, right? But like do something similar, especially with your positioning. It matters a lot. It matters with your prioritization. Like you're changing of codes. For example, you saw me mess up on 7 and I changed it. Something like that. And also... like. If you don't get it the first hit here just make sure you grab a vial so someone doesn't die so yeah it's really much more about the way you perform more so than the actual time you get 